Everyone, Joe here from Mainline Overland. I have some very exciting news today, and that is that I bought a new rig, and it is this 2010 Lexus GX460 we're standing in front of today. And uh, there's actually a pretty cool story behind this, uh, this truck here. Um, I didn't fully build it out myself, but I know the people who did. And I'm actually standing next to the man here that put this build together. Yeah, I helped spec out the build for the particular customer that uh, went ahead and asked us to take a stock truck and convert it uh, back in 2019. So kind of cool to see something come full circle uh, from a stock vehicle to a fully built truck that we delivered to a very happy customer who utilized it for the better part of four or five years. Yeah. And then I think, you know, like any good uh, enthusiast, Joe and a number of other folks here at Mainline are always trolling Facebook Marketplace. And sure. as soon as we saw this truck, we knew that we built it and we all started messaging each other about it. Joe is still single, so he <laughs> is the fastest to be able to act on something like this and he was able to lock it down. Um, I got in touch with the customer that we built this for. Um, he was super pumped that I wanted it and definitely was super happy to see it go back to MLO here. We worked out a deal. Um, he actually just picked up a new Ineos Grenadier. Um, so that's his replacement truck for this. But I'm super pumped uh, to have this truck. I'm really loving it so far. I've had it two or three weeks so far. And really, it's really a dream come true. I'm, I'm super pumped to get this out here, um, get it out on the trail and uh, really test out the capabilities of it. Um, this truck started out as just a bare bones. I believe this is a 2013. 2010. 2010. Um, so we kind of went after this with all the Prado 150 goodies um, that we could get back in 2019, which is an incredible amount, actually. Yeah. I really love the front end of these trucks with the kind of more traditional style headlights yeah. where they're kind of more like rest of world look yeah, compared totally. to like the maybe the 16 and newer trucks that have that kind of longer headlight and yeah, longer nose. I believe they only did this front end here from 2010 to 2013. And I think that's when they did the refresh to the more kind of like angular grille and the angled headlights. Yeah. But I definitely like the kind of OG look. It looks way more like Prado 150. It looks way more like Australian European look, yeah. uh, which I really like for these trucks. Um, and putting the A or B front bull bar on here really transforms the look of the truck up front. Yeah. Um, and I think this is a must have upgrade for a GX. Yeah, the ARV Summit Bar really kind of cuts away all of the uh, American spec Lexus stuff that we don't want and uh, gives it that Prado look, especially on this gen of Prado. Um, we really kind of went through uh, and, and built up everything we could on this. This yeah. thing has got air lockers in it and 456 gears. Um, it's got our MLO sliders on it. We did the JDM rocker covers. Um, it's got full skid plates underneath. Um, has the Baja Designs lights up here, come up winch. Yeah, Icon um, Stage 7. Yeah, Icon Stage 7, so that's their adjustable remote reservoir suspension all the way around with uh, tubular upper control arms and their tubular rear adjustable links. So this has kind of the top of the line yeah. suspension. Good LRA tank out back. We got the Dobinson's uh, dual swing out rear bumper. This thing's really built out. So definitely like the deal of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. As long as you know who built it, exactly. and you know who, that they built it right. So how many miles are on this, Joe? Yeah, so this only has 104,000 right now, um, which for this, this motor and this vehicle, a lot of people say barely broken in. Honestly, the customer who we built this out for really didn't leave me much to do to it. Yeah. Um, he's pretty much did everything um, you can imagine. Uh, I think the only thing we didn't mention was the front runner roof rack. Uh, which I really like. I have my ski rack up there, uh, but now with warmer weather coming, I'm kind of kicking around if I want to do a rooftop tent or if kind of use it for extra storage uh, for camping gear and stuff. So that's still yet to be seen. Um, the only other thing I want to dial in is a rear storage setup. Uh, right now, this truck still has like the third row in the back, uh, which takes up a fair amount of room. Um, so I think about ripping that out, either doing a Dobinson's like drawer setup or doing some kind of custom setup. But that's really all there is to do. Yeah, when we built this, it was kind of like no expense spared in terms of like the additional things that we recommended along the way. Uh, we even replaced like factory OEM headlights for this customer just because they, you know, had seen some wear and had that yellowing and we just wanted that fresh look. Got a new fresh set of Icon um, coilovers on the front Correct. to kind of complement the, the Stage 7 to keep everything nice and fresh. So. A very, a very well maintained truck, barely broken in. Yeah. Four six is like a million mile motor. Yeah, really. The um, MLO guys four years ago built this out perfectly. I'm super pumped to uh, see it come back to MLO, and um, the customer was super happy to see it come back because he's he knows it's going to be in good hands. People are going to take care of it. 
people actually going to use it. So Joe, where's the next trip? Where's the first trip at this rig? Yeah, so the first uh, trip I'm taking out is actually this weekend um, going up home. I grew up in State College uh, right near Bald Eagle State Forest. Um, so that's kind of the first kind of break and run, uh, get a feel for the truck, get a little dirty. And then in about a month's time, we're headed up to New Hampshire for our New Hampshire open house and our first trail ride of the year with uh, Ridgeback Guide Service. Uh, so usually we have the MLO Bronco up at that ride, but since I just got this new baby, I kind of want to test it out, break it in a little bit. Well, congratulations on the, uh, the acquisition. Thank and, you. And uh, we look forward to the many adventures ahead with this awesome GX. Yeah, and I'm sure this will not be the last time you see this vehicle. Um, we're going to have it out on trail rides. We're going to keep you guys up to date on any kind of modifications we make, um, issues we run into. You'll kind of get a whole behind the scenes on my ownership of this rig. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting your GX built like this, or even just a couple components, we can take care of it for you in stages. And be sure to stay tuned for more footage of this thing wheeling in the near future.